Um, hello, and uh, thank you very much for speaking with us today. My pleasure. Now, the Barden Bellas are back. They're back, they're sexier, sleeker, better than ever before. However, thanks to Fat Amy, they do start off on a bit of a bomb note. Correct. So if you pardon the pun there, but that was quite an opening to the film. Yes, um, you know, one of the single biggest challenges we faced in, in jumping into Pitch Perfect 2 and developing that script was figuring out how do we make the Barden Bellas underdogs again, because as you just pointed out, um, when we last saw them in Pitch Perfect 1, they were triumphant, winning the national championship in an incredible performance, mashing up Becca's songs. And so we had to show them, we had to lay them low, show them as underdogs again. I think we do that in the first couple minutes of the movie um, in a pretty you know, nationally humiliating kind of way. I came in like a <laughs> oh no, she has no underwear on. Oh we have a commando situation. She's turning. No. Brace yourself. She's coming. She's coming. <laughs> And that was something which she found important to re-establish, something to get perhaps the fans really, you know, eagering them on and trying to churn them on to do yeah. better. Yeah, you need a root, you know, you need to have something to root for. So we need to, uh, you know, humiliate them um, and, and, you know, give them a, a new purpose and then now raise the stakes with them having to defeat the greatest a cappella group in the, world, in the world, which if there is such a thing, but yeah. <laughs> How are we gonna compete with them? I'm not supposed to have any ideas. I'm the hot one. Uh, I'm pretty sure I'm the hot one. And it's a very, very impressive directorial debut from Elizabeth Banks. Thank you. How did she find the transition going from producer in the first film to directing this one? Um, I think she would say uh, relatively seamlessly. Um, I think, you know, she felt a lot of pressure, uh, of course, um, but uh, she was about as prepared a first-time director as you will find. I mean, she's made as an actress over 50 some odd films, worked with some of the biggest directors in the world. She, you know, pays a lot of attention daily. She's not the type of actor who kind of just quickly scampers back to their trailer after they're done shooting. So she, from an acting side, knows every, everything there is to know practically. Um, she was a producer on the first movie, she was on set every day, deeply involved in pre-production, which is arguably more important than production. So she was, you would not have known you were witnessing a first-time director. And of course, we have to ask you about the cameos. They're very impressive. How Thank did you. you manage to get people like President Obama on board? <laughs> I mean, literally, the list of them was so impressive. Yeah. Thank you. Um, uh, President Obama was not technically on board. Uh, we just licensed that footage. Right. Um, we, we, we have we have heard through the grapevine that the Obamas are fans of the movie, uh, particularly their daughters, as I understand it. Um, but otherwise, yeah, we were approached by a lot of people who were interested in being the film, either because they themselves loved it or oftentimes like their children loved it. And in the case of a uh, one of the biggest hip hop uh, artists in the world, who I'm not gonna mention for the moment, um, he his daughter loves the movie. And in his words, uh, this will make me really cool with her, being in our movie, not he being himself, but <laughs> being in our movie. So yeah, it was just a lot of love for the film. And the musical set pieces are fantastic. The production, the staging, the choreography, that was almost as important, I suppose, as the actual singing itself. Was mm -hmm. that something that you tried to make really stand out in the film? Yes, yes. Um, we have a, just a truly incredible choreographer, Akman Jones, who is a, and also an, a great guy. Um, and, uh, and probably one of the most underrated uh, people in the entire uh, crew. Um, he makes all of that go. It's his vision, um, working in collaboration with the director, but I mean, he really is the, the, the man behind that. And, and uh, yes, we, you know, the choreography is incredibly important. And then with the rival German group, we wanted them to be even more impressive than the Barden Bellas in order to kind of, you know, set those stakes. They were fantastic. And I particularly love their final piece as well. That was super. It's amazing. <laughs> Sound machine. Now, obviously, in terms of the way it's finished, mm -hmm. are we likely to see a Pitch Perfect 3, <laughs> do you think? Um, uh, you know, we are entirely focused on putting out Pitch Perfect 2 uh, on May, May 15th, which is a few weeks away. Um, and, you know, I think we're really going to let um, the fan reaction uh, to the, the second one determine what does or doesn't happen on the third one. Um, it's right now we're not really focus on what's happening beyond May 15th. No, well it really is a fantastic film, so congratulations. Thank it's you. It's very much fun. Appreciate it. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks.
Inspiration to girls all over the country who are too ugly to be cheerleaders. We run the world, girls. We run this month, girls. girls.